Hello, my name is Elizabeth and I am your in vivo trainer. The purpose of this um, session is to help you to navigate your way around in vivo 12 for the Mac. Now, when you open your software, wherever it may be on your computer or the university network, this will be the London welcome page. Now, on the welcome page, you can see two sessions, the darker blue session where the logo is and the welcome message is, and also the whitish, grayish section. Now, here you will find usually two buttons here, create a new project or make a copy of the sample project that comes with the software so you can play and see how others have used the software. Now, if you've already used the software before by opening some projects, you will find the footprints of the previously opened project. In my case, I've got a few bits. So just ignore that. For this exercise, we are going to create a brand new um, copy of the sample project and then I will walk you through. So we can click on copy, uh, open a copy of the sample project. So the software gives you a name, sample project is going to be put on your document. If you want to change it to your desktop, you can just about click here and then later on you can take care of it. So let's just go ahead and click on save. And then in my case, it won't happen to you, but it will say, well, I noticed that there is a copy. Would you like to replace it? So I would just shamefully say yes. So now this is the London page where we're ready to work. I want to take the time to help you to navigate your way, which is the purpose of this particular uh, um, demonstration. Now, on the page, you notice that like any other Mac software, you will find a top menu. So here we see in vivo, just from the Mac icon, you see the in vivo 12 software, which you can pull down and get some information. So you go through all that menu to the help. Now, when we then focus on the software page that we are here to work, there is also another set of menu. To begin with, we have the close and minimize and also maximize icons as we're very familiar with as Mac users. And of course, the title of the project, sample project, which is the copy that we've chosen to play with. Now, beneath that, we have another set of menus, starting with Home, Create, all the way to View. Let me just walk you through this set of menu. Now, it's built on the same design as Excel or Microsoft Word. So if you click on the Home, which is the one that is activated, it tells you that in this menu, you'll be able to open another project. You'll be able to um, change the properties of a project name, type, whatever, descriptors. You'll be able to edit things. And of course, that is the item. And then you have another group here called the clipboard. So you can do the usual things that you know how to do in Word or Excel. And of course, the format is not new to you, paragraph and on and on. Now, let's just have a play because for navigating, we just need to let ourselves and play with it. So by clicking on the next menu called Create, you notice that ah, we can create documents from scratch, we can create external sources, we can use memo to do things, we can bring in audio and video, and then we have another group here called the notes, we can create the themes, the cases, 
items, you know, collections and on. So I want you to join me with the play by clicking on any of the menus. So if we click on the data, we can bring in other projects, we can bring in documents, we can import in PDF, uh, online surveys, you know, which databases like Excel can be at the back end for us to bring in pictures. We can also use NCAPTCHA, which is NVivo's own um, extension that allow us to be able to go on to social media like Twitter, Instagram, all the many things that you know, and we can capture information from such sources directly into NVivo to explore what's going on. So there are other buttons and this is just a play. I want you to feel comfortable and I just want you to explore what these tools are. You don't need to know how to use them. I just want the navigation. I want you to feel relaxed that this is where it is. Also one thing, sometimes when you open a project, you can't find these ribbons. They seem to have a mind of their own. And so I want to draw your attention to this arrow here. It says hide the ribbon. So you may come in and that may have been hidden accidentally. So when it's hidden, don't panic. Just come to the very end and you find this arrow pointing inward. And that means you can actually show it. So you hide it and you show it. Just have a play at it so you know that everything will be exactly how you want it. Sometimes if you need a space, you can hide it, but you can also go through the same pointer to open it. So that is about the menu system. Now let's take a look at where we're supposed to be working. Now we have three columns, as you can see, two of them are the whitish bit and one is gray. Let me just talk you through the very first one on the left hand side that begins with data. This particular column is your storage system. It's your storage where you store the sources that you want to work with and create the themes in the code. So let me just walk you through. Under the data, you can have, well, the software comes with a folder system that is called files. So this is your filing cabinet. In here, if you have variety of materials that you want to bring on, you can easily create folders. So if you watch me, I can create a new folder and say, well, I want to bring info. I'm just messing right now. So I can create something and then you can go for done. And so that will create another folder. You see what I've done, the existing folders I've just added to it. If you want to remove it, it's a question of just right mouse clicking on it and then deleting it from there. And of course you respond to it. So that is very simple for us to remember. Right now, if you want to fold things the way you can, I will take you through how to actually use the software later, but this time it's only purely for navigation. So inside the folder, you can see some documents there. So that becomes the list view. This will list everything that is inside the folder. So if I look at the interview folder, you can see this would be the list of documents that are in the interview folder. So that is what the list view is. It displays whatever the content of the folder on the left hand side is. So that's where we are. Okay, now I would like to also uh, display this course. This course here in the version 12 that we're looking at, it is actually the thematic coding uh, system. So in this case, we have a folder here called notes and Anytime you see a pointer to anything, it means there are sub sub themes underneath it. So you can open it and you can also uh, close it. I mean, you can uh, expand it and collapse it. So inside the notes, you will see the themes that came out of this particular project that we're looking at. This is the sample project. And likewise, whenever you see an arrow, next door to any theme, you can click on it and explore what is actually inside it. 
so that's it for the names of the themes this blue circles they are the themes so they are kept right here okay there are other you know sub themes that i wouldn't want to take too much of your time to go through we also have the cases and uh, the cases is just a way of uh, bringing in those people that you spoke to or the the things that you are studying so let's just stick with interviews so the cases will be uh, where you bring all those people that you interviewed and then you can decide to even subgroup them but here if we were to open that we will see that these are the people that the researchers actually interview them so i can collapse that and then come to another folder underneath the cases is the case classification so in the persons you see that these are the people however if i were to click on it and this is the mark if you click on the case uh, the person uh, table you'll be able to see the attributes which is the attribute tabs and you need to be very you know kind of um comfortable with where these locations are so we have attributes and we also have the classification sheet so the attributes are the characteristics the demographic attributes that the researchers were interested and then the classification sheet will list all the people and what responses the or the choices that they have under the various attributes so you get the sheet like an excel looking sheet but the attribute gives you the columns inside the excel uh, you know kind of looking screen so you have the attributes and the classification sheet here so it is very different from the windows but we are working on the mac so this is what you should be looking at okay and of course we've got the notes and we've got the searches and also the map so in 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 nutshell this is your system which is a little bit different if you've had any training on the windows or you know with a windows group it will be a bit disorientating because things are a little bit in the different places so this is just a very quick navigation just to show you where things are i hope you find this useful it's just a small bit of a big picture so look out for the other navigations and what you could do on the mac so thanks for watching this